boldness and grey hair, two medical conditions of which the true psychological burden is underestimated. But luckily, thanks to the latest medical advancements, now we know the mechanism behind grey hair and boldness. This is a tiny medical video to explain the findings of this study. The most interesting thing about this study, apart from the findings of course, is the fact that they actually never plan to find a cause for boldness or grey hair. This is a discovery by chance. Now, Dr. Lule is an associate professor of dermatology at University of Texas. He and his team was using mouse models to find more about neurofibromatosis type 1, which causes many types of tumors. But at the end of the study, they found something remarkable, totally unrelated to tumors. They found the mechanism of boldness and hair grain. So, what did they actually find? Okay, something about the hair first. The part of the hair that comes out of the skin, we call that the shaft of the hair. The part of the hair that is embedded in the dermis of the skin, we call it the hair follicle. The hair follicle has so many living cells with the ability to divide. We call them stem cells or the progenitor cells. They found in this study that these progenitor cells in turn secrete a protein called Kerox 20 and it was revealed this Kerox 20 protein is what makes the shaft grow from the follicles. In other words, Kerox 20 stimulates the cells that creates the shaft. So in some mice, they deleted the gene for Kerox 20. And you know what happened? These mice never grew hair again. That's how they confirmed Kerox 20 is essential for the shaft to grow. So the mechanism of boldness is the absence or the deficiency of Kerox 20. There are many causes for boldness, but what they all have in common at the end is they all leads to decreased levels of Kerox 20. Then they observed these progenitor cells secrete another type of protein called the stem cell factor. When they deleted the genes for stem cell factor, the mice actually grew hair, but that hair was grey. Now we can assume that these stem cell factors go and stimulate melanocytes to secrete melanin. Melanin makes the hair dark. Okay, so now we know the mechanism, but what's next? The next is topical creams containing Kerox protein and stem cell factor proteins, which can be applied on the scalp to cure boldness and hair growth. Finally, thank you for watching, and next week I'll come back with another study analysis.